Okay, folks, welcome to another day with Mr. Flores in the art classroom. Today we are making our Valentine Hearts painting. All right, so today you are going to need your canvas. You are going to need uh, maybe about two brushes, one flat, uh, definitely some water, and four colors, black, white, pink, and red. If you don't have pink, you can also just mix uh, white and red together. All right, so we're gonna first start off, find the center of your canvas. Go ahead and put your canvas horizontal and find the center. When you find the center, go ahead and just eye it and we're going to paint a heart. Do not worry, this does not have to be a perfect heart shape. Um, what you're going to do is eye it and we're going to paint our heart white first. So we're gonna first use our, um, we're gonna go in order with white, pink, red, and then black. So let's go ahead and start off with white. Okay, so we're gonna find the center, go ahead and paint my heart, and then just go back and forth, and we have our white heart. I know it might be hard to see because it is white on white, but go ahead and just paint your white heart. Again, do not be afraid that it is off or uneven because it's going to be sort of a shining heart or like a heart in the distance or in the horizon. So do not be scared that it looks different. All right, for time's sake, I am going to time lapse some of this because it is understood, like I told you, that you are gonna be using these three colors. I will stop the time lapse every now and then so that way you can see what color I need to do next or any color blending or mixing. So there's my white heart in the center. I did do it a little bit above on top, so don't worry about that part. Do not wash your brush. Go ahead and leave it still with that white residue and get a little bit of pink just on half the brush. And we're gonna go do our next color. Go ahead and put it right next to it. And we have my pink. And there you go. Nice and even. Again, I have my pink and I'm just going around that white heart looking good all right what you're gonna do next is we want these white and pink to mix together so in order to do that I'm going to get my brush and go ahead and wash it and we just simply put it into the water it's okay if it still has a little bit of residue of paint. Go ahead and clean it off. And I want you to put it back into the water, but just a little bit, so that way our brush can be somewhat have some water on it. And then I want you to mix the white and the pink together. Go ahead and do that. It's okay if it has a little bit of water. And you're simply gonna just go over it, and we're gonna mix those two colors together. It's okay to go back and forth to turn your brush uh, opposite ways you want to leave a little bit of pink and just go like so if you feel like you have too much paint on there you can simply take it off on the rag or on the napkin perfect I like the way that come out can you see how it nice and blended in there and again it's not a perfect heart it's just sort of like a heart shape and it's sort of like glowing in the distance perfect guys I really like how that's coming out all right, let's go ahead and keep on going. What I'm gonna do is add some more pink, make this wider. So let's go ahead and make that pink shape. Make sure that you're not kind of like going zigzag or any which way, that you are going in the same flow. When I mean the same flow, like the same uh, shape as the heart. Good, so now we're going back and forth. And we're gonna repeat that the same way but this time we're going to be using the red on the outside of this pink. And we're gonna blend those together. I'm gonna to go ahead and time lapse this because it's understood of how this should work next. All right guys, next I'm going to wash my brush again. Be careful when you brush it, do not stomp it into the water, just simply drag it back and forth on the bottom of the water or of the cup. 
go ahead and take off the excess, go ahead and clean it. And then what you're gonna do is slightly put it back into the water. So that way our, our paintbrush can have be a little bit moist. And I want you to blend that red and pink together, just like so. And then you're gonna just go back and forth and blend those two colors together to have a nice transition from that light to darkness. Just go back and forth. See how I got a little bit on there? Do not stress out. Go ahead and just clean your brush and just go back and forth to blend that in. Perfect, I love the way this is coming out. If you feel like your paintbrush is a little too dry, just simply dab it into the water. So that way you can uh, have a more fluid, uh, fluid effect, more simple way of dragging it back and forth and make it nice and clean and blended. Remember, it's supposed to be sort of like a sunset or like a glowing heart in the distance. All right, guys, my next step I'm gonna do is dab just a tiny bit of black paint into my red and mix these two together. Do not put too much black. Black is a very dominant color and sometimes it can overpower your painting or overpower your colors. So what I would do is I'm going to get my red and add just a tiny bit of black onto there and go ahead and go to the, my next color. So that way those two colors can blend together. Just a tiny bit of black to make it a dark red. All right, guys, now we're gonna blend that dark red with that regular red. Clean your brush, wipe it, and add just a tiny bit of water so that way our paint can be more flowy, more fluid. And we're going to mix that red and dark red together. If you feel like you have too much paint on your paintbrush, just simply take it off on the rag and blend away. Great, this is coming out awesome. All right, the last one is going to be not necessarily all the way dark black, but as black as you can, um, as dark red as you can make it. So just add a little bit of more black onto there, but not fully that dark, dark uh, color. And so for the rest of this, uh, all you have to do is go in a circular motion all the way around your painting using that dark red. Sometimes you can go back with it with a dry brush. My brush hasn't ran out of paint, so it's just whatever is left over of any paint that has a little bit of moisture in it and I'm just going simply going over it to blend all of those colors together. If you don't like the way a color came out, you can always go back, clean your brush, and then go over that same color again. I'm gonna get a little bit of red in the middle and just sort of blend these colors together because I feel like it's a little bit translucent. I'm gonna make it that nice deep red. Now what I'm gonna do is simply dry off my brush and with a dry brush, I'm going to blend these together. Fantastic folks, I love the way this is coming out. All right, one of our last steps is adding our cherry blossom tree. Okay folks, you're going to need a round brush, so not a flat one. And we're gonna make some cherry blossom trees. You can either have one coming from uh, the from one of the corners or you can have two. I think I'm going to have two coming one from each side, but it really is up to you. We're going to get our black and it's gonna sort of look like a spooky, you know, Halloween tree. Um, we're going to make sure to add just a tiny bit of water. We need to make sure that this black 
flows very well so that our paintings do not come out chunky. I tell this with my students that when, our, when we paint with our paintbrushes, they do not stomp on our feet, they dance on their toes, and we wanna make sure this nice and goes in flow. So do not press the paintbrush all the way down. It is coming, um, it is dancing in its toes. We're going ahead and start from the corner and just let it flow. If you need more paint, then you feel free to get more paint. I think I'm going to make uh, two cherry blossom trees, one coming from each side. And again, they're gonna look like, sort of like a spooky Halloween tree with no leaves, sort of like the winter time. Maybe think about it, you know, Valentine's Day is uh, in the winter. I use the tip of my paintbrush to make those ends. Again, these are going to be like the branches and the twigs coming off to the side. And just go off of that main branch. And you can make some smaller twigs coming off to the side. If you feel like it's not dark enough, then just simply go over it. And remember, our paintbrush dances on its toes. It does not stomp on its feet. What I'm going to do is have these two branches come together and have like two little lovebirds come into the middle right here under right underneath the heart. I'm going to add some more branches to make it more dramatic so it's not just the only scene of the heart in the middle. Again, I like to think of the heart as sort of like a sunset of sort of like a shiny star, but it's a shiny heart. I'm going to go ahead and time lapse this so you can make some nice little branches going all and over. You can even have four branches if you like coming from each end, but I'm just going to have two. All right, folks, I think that's good. I don't want to overpower it with too many twigs. And what we're going to do is add little cherry blossom flowers onto these branches. For little lovebirds, I'm going to use the same paintbrush, dip it into the water so that makes, makes it nice and flowy. For little two little lovebirds, I'm going to make two round shapes. Make the little tiny beak. Another one right here. Make a round shape for the body. And then a round head, a round shape. Make a little beak. Make a little tail. You can even make some little legs or little... So they're standing, this one could be sitting. You can make little red hearts to make them know that they're following love. I'm going to clean my brush, the one that was with the black, and what I'm going to do is make some pink flowers. Cherry blossom trees are, to, are pink, and so I'm going to get my pink color, my pink paint, and make little dabs of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm also going to put it in the white and make little dabs of pink and white together. They can be any kind of shape. I always just do three dabs for like three little petals. One, two, three. And what we're gonna do at the very end is add like a little dot of white in between all of these for like a little center of the flower. I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this because it's understood of what we're doing. And I hope you guys have fun and I'll show you guys what happens at the end.
All right, folks, we're coming to the end. You can also do some flowers like that fallen off or like in the wind. Um, what I'm gonna, last thing I'm gonna do is put some little tiny hearts to make them fall in love. I'm gonna get up some of my red and just do some little tiny red hearts. Basically, you just do a V. Some of them, you can do as many hearts as you want. I think I'm just gonna do three, three little ones for that there's love in the air. All right, folks, I hope you had as much fun as I did making this. I can't wait to see how they all came out.